Next, here is the assembly of the OM3 and its adapter. First, we pick up the OM3 and locate the hole on the side. We take the adapter and insert it into the OM3. There is a vertical groove on the adapter. Align it with a hole on the side while pushing it in. Once aligned, the three bolts and holes will slide into place. Tighten the three bolts with an Allen wrench. This is what the assembly will look like. Next, I will introduce the assembly of the OM3 equipped with the adapter and the compressor. We first put the compressor down on its side. Unscrew the side glass. We can see the white gasket inside. This is similar to the white gasket on the adapter, which prevents secondary leakage. This gasket and the one on the adapter is replaceable if it shows sign of wear. We are now going to install the OM3 body directly on the compressor. Find the part on the OM3 body where the rod and hexagon component are located. Screw it into the compressor. The OM3 body must be installed vertical to the compressor and horizontal to the ground. Use a wrench to tighten. After tightening it, make sure that the OM3 is horizontal to the ground. The OM3 is horizontal to the ground. Assembly is done. If you observe the state of the electronic oil level regulator, we can see that the orange light is on. This means that the oil level is below 40%.